So this is the Bridal Academy. Uh, yeah. It's been a long time. You've lost weight, no no. You worry so much. Work so hard day and night. You've grown a lot stronger. No no! We're here with an important mission for you. Does the group still remember me? Is it finally time for me to join the stage? I'm tired of sitting on the sidelines. <sighs> really, you lot. I'll get changed, then take you to get something to eat. that good-for-nothing kid. What are you doing here? Whoa! It's Sakura himself! Luminous! Looks like we were fated to meet again. Listen, Luminous. You've gotten yourself into deep trouble. Deep trouble. You hear me? Greetings, everyone! Huh? Who's this? A new entrant into our mighty ranks? Pleased to meet you. I'm the leader here. The incredible Dragon Slayer, Finger Von Frings! Join our group, and you'll be one of us. Stick around and I'll make sure you're well taken care of. You're practically bankrupt. Every time I hang out with you, I nearly starve. What's the matter? Been writing too many online novels? Do I have to bribe you for an update? That it? Whoa! So even you know about me becoming an influential writer too? Are you going to speak up or not? Here, this is a recording made by Eva. Take a look, right now. It's about time your wonderful leader grabbed something to eat. Sir, how is the principal doing? The principal's heart was nearly ripped in two. Luckily, medics fixed him up with an external pacemaker when they saved him. But, he's still in critical condition. His life hangs in the balance. 
It's certainly his burning desire for revenge that keeps him alive, given the condition he's in. Greetings, elders. The vice principal was using his Koto Danma heavily yesterday and is still recovering, so will not be joining us. And so, I will be leading today's meeting. We all saw the recording just now. An unanticipated attack heavily injured our principal Anju. The principal's card was used to open the ice cellar's doors and steal the bones of the Dragon King that laid hidden within. The attacker was fast, so fast they weren't even visible on CCTV. This is all we got from frame-by-frame -frame analysis of those tapes. But the system shows Luminous as having scanned his card that night, opening half the doors to the ice cellars. Furthermore, his card was the only one to have been scanned at those doors that night. Mr. Bailth. According to our files, Luminous has no Kotodanma. Even the super-hybrid Nibelungen project was unable to awaken one within him. It seems it did little more than elevate him from worthless to useless. Moreover, such a fine bloodline should give a fine Kotodama too, not such a poor, frail existence. If it's true that Luminous's escape and the incident with Enju is more than mere coincidence, then I think it's clear what is going on here. Has issued an alert that, just two minutes ago, another bone collection was stolen in Rome. The Gattuso elder representative, Frost, died in battle. The enemy issued a high-temperature assault on their CCTV. Hence, all Italy could provide is a sound recording. This is utterly ridiculous. Order, order. Everyone, we are faced now with a challenge. A challenge that the Dragon Kings have posed to us. Stealing the Dragon King bones is a blatant message. One that says the time has come. We all shall perish. With all due respect, Mr. Beowulf, sir, there's no use in talking about it like this. The Dragon King certainly wants us dead, and we wish them the same fate. We're born with swords in hand, eternally locked in an unrelenting battle. Speak your name, and explain why you're in the Gattuso seat. Caesar Gattuso. Son of Pompey Gattuso. Since my Uncle Frost got into trouble, I've been appointed the new Gattuso representative. As the new leader, I can only speak for myself. But I can promise that the Gattuso family will wholeheartedly support each word I say. Well... Does Gattuso have anything to say on the matter? I approve of your judgment. The new Dragon Kings have emerged, and they are stronger than our enemies we have faced before. 
They hide among us. They understand mankind. They understand the Argonauts' society. But as of now, we know barely anything. Our enemy has already managed to steal away dragon bones from two locations. What are they planning? If they've been hidden all these years, then what is it that's caused them to rise once more? We need to find more leads. Perhaps there's still another lead. Luminous. Explain. Just as everything came to a head, he suddenly had some kind of nervous issue. Escaped from the campus. It's nigh on impossible for so many improbable events to happen at the exact same time. They must be connected somehow. Seeing as we can't find any more information on our enemy, I suggest we start with Luminous. I don't believe him to be the assailant here, but we must find him quickly before we lose control. I've already got Luminous on my wanted list. However, at present, it's not possible to do the same for Finger. Why? There's no trace of him in my database. I cannot place someone who doesn't exist upon a wanted list. Impossible. Even I know that fool, the one who'll never graduate, Finger. Had launched a sudden attack on Finger and so he's kept his guard up. Before escaping, he erased all online traces of himself, including those in the EVA database. Fools! If the executive department didn't have a handle on this, then... <sighs> At this critical time, it's probably wise that we dig out what we hid beneath the ice. It's time it was put to use. If I may say so, Mr. Beowulf, I don't think it's a good idea to unleash that thing from beneath the ice. Not now. At present, there's no direct evidence proving Luminous's betrayal. We can't say for certain whose side he stands on. Resorting to blind violence would just be playing into the enemy's hands. Hmm, you may be right, I see. In the name of the Argonaut Society, I announce that we at Castle College are entering a state of war. That the Student Union President Luminous is now the top target upon our wanted list and that no matter what, we must capture him before he falls into enemy hands. Watched it all? Well, don't just stand there. We came here with one task, and that's to eat our fill. Now let's not get distracted from the matter at hand. My god, how hungry can you be? 
And you two, what's the deal? Let me smooth things over here. Luminous is all confused. Seems convinced he knows some person named Johan Chu? You know all of us, and aside from Luminous, nobody knows you. Just then, someone infiltrated the ice cellars, stole the dragon bones, and severely injured the principal. If a series of unlikely events come to pass, it's very likely that they are all connected somehow. And right now, half the people think you've lost it. The other half, they think you're a spy, a traitor. Hey, you better not have forgotten the code of brotherhood we share. I mean, we shared the same bed, under the same roof. For Luminous, I even took those investigators sent by the executive department and buried them along with the cocoa plants. I'm not actually that wicked, though. I only buried them up to the neck. They can still breathe just fine. Whoa, did you bury those guys from the executive department in the cocoa plantations? As soon as they got to Cuba, they started trying to intimidate me. Wanting payback for what happened with you. I could tell they just weren't going to let it go. So I thought, I might as well knock them all out and bury them in the cocoa plantation for good measure. Enough talk. Your time's nearly up. They'll probably catch up in under an hour. Don't let the fact that Castle is a college distract you from what it's always been. It's a hidden group. It's the Argonauts Society, the most cutthroat group in the world. If you make yourself their enemy, they'll bear their fangs, like now. Having analyzed the leads we have at hand, there's only three possibilities. First, that you and Luminous seem to have developed some kind of synchronized memories. Put simply, it's like you both dreamed the same dream. One about Johan Chu and everything that happened this year. A dream that's so vivid that you believed Johan Chu was real. Yet now, you've awoken, and there's no way I can understand whatever it was you dreamed. So I don't know you, and I don't know Johan Chu. Second possibility, you're a spy, a pawn of the dragons. If so, it was you who broke into the ice cellars, you who stole the dragon bones and injured the principal and are now standing before me, feigning innocence, acting the good guy. The third and final possibility is that we've all fallen victim to mass hypnotism. Apart from you two, that is. Mass hypnosis? It'd be impossible for common hypnotism to achieve such a thing, however. Some Koto Danma could, though. So we can only assume that somebody used a powerful Kododanma and altered everyone's memories. Yet I don't see why they couldn't do the same to you two. Ultimately, however, it's impossible to completely erase someone from existence. Even an incredibly strong Kododanma would leave behind traces. If Johan Chu really did exist, then you and Luminous 
are such a trace of his existence. If you can remember anything else about Johann Chu, they'll help you to find more traces. When you finally find him, you'll be able to pull back the curtain, see who's truly pulling the strings here, and why they're doing all this. All right then, let's see. Who will be the mighty Dragon Slayer's partner this time around? A violent young lady? A good-for-nothing? And, uh, some leftover newbie? This team's certainly lacking when compared to the last one back in Japan. We'll just have to make do. You go out and sort out your luggage, miss. Luminous, sort out some snacks and the like with the new kid. Meet back here in... ten minutes. Then we'll head off to save the world. Shouldn't you ask other people what they think first? I never said I'd go with you. Damn! You refuse a call for help? At a time like this? Whatever happened to that unbreakable bond between classmates? Most people don't even get the chance, aren't even qualified to be saving the world. Now sort your luggage and let's go! Look, you have to figure everything out first. I'm working hard on my bridal studies here. I've already dropped out of Castle College. Ever since then, I've put everything to do with the dragons behind me. Alright, fine. I know you'll just laugh at me. Oh, look. She's going to become an actual proper lady. <laughs> laugh all you like. I know it'll happen sooner or later. In fact, every time you make a choice, the other options burn away. They, from the very start to the end, you walk down a single path. You needn't concern yourself with why I'm this way, because it's... Understood. Let's go. Good luck. If we're saving the world, we could do with a female Sherlock, for sure. I don't care whose wife she is. She's coming too. Help me out of here. Ah, weighs a ton. How much weight has she put on? Are you sure she's a classmate? You sure she's not a pig in disguise? How can you say so? Those extra strength sleeping pills I gave her are meant to wear off after 24 hours. It's been 30 and she's still snoring away. You don't think she's tired from all the sleeping? And is... sleeping it off maybe? Only a pig could sit there snoring at a time like this. Are you really looking to die? That it? You two. They've changed you. It, it was him! him. I, I had, had nothing, nothing to do, to do with, with it. it. Say your last words. Make it quick. You either die for a great cause, or for nothing at all. Dying for a brother? Now that's a great cause. Get out of here.
What are you still here for? Go grab me some clothes. Haven't you seen enough? Out with it. What's the plan? If there were a Kododanma that acted as a kind of mass hypnotism, perhaps making us completely forget a person's existence, even then, it couldn't completely wipe out every trace of them. According to you, this Johan Chu was in Shilan for the last 18 years or so. And there's some faint clues on him here. That's why you came to Shilan? According to Luminous, this Johan Chu was something of an idol at Shilan Middle School. We'll go and seek out his teachers and classmates from back then, and the countless girls infatuated with him. A lead will present itself, I'm sure. I get it. Let's go then. Then you're willing to cooperate with us? I knew you had a just heart, deep down inside. Justice, my foot. You basically kidnapped me, brought me here. I just can't get through to you.